Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, you will learn about selling your pattern designs online using Spoonflower, which is a leading print on demand website based in US. So go to the Spoonflower website and after that log into your account. Once you have logged in, just go to design and sell and upload your design. So now uh, the upload window has opened and at one go you can select 8 design files. The minimum DPI criteria is 150. I would say that you go for 300 DPI as it will generate a good quality image. Second is you have to confirm the copyright for your design. By copyright it means that you have made the design yourself and it's not copied from somewhere else. Now choose your file. It should be in a JPEG or PNG format. And one thing which you have to keep in mind here is your file should be in a RGB format because Spoonflower only supports RGB. It does not print files in CMYK color mode in a very good quality. So once we have confirmed the copyright, just click on upload your files. Now we can see our file has uploaded. So now we have the option of uploading our design in four types like basic repeat, half drop, mirror repeat. So I am going with the basic repeat here and we also have an option of changing our scale at this point of time if we have uploaded a file in higher size like you know uh, 300 dpi then we have the option of either making it smaller or bigger so it's very important that you select your size in at least 300 dpi so now what next we will be doing is we will be uh, seeing this design on different mockups. So click on view all products. So now we get a window where all the mockups are here. Be it wallpaper, the bedding, the kitchen linen, everything is here. And we can see how it is looking on different types of products, either uh, in a small scale or bigger scale. And if we don't like uh, the design we can anytime go back and change our scale to either smaller or bigger by re-uploading it the design or either making the changes in spoon flower itself we can also open a particular product to see it in more detail like this throw blanket will be opening So it will give you a closer look of the product and you can you know analyze your design in a more efficient way that what changes are there whether the design is working well on this product or not okay so I think it's looking quite good I'll just go back and you know uh, yeah so one thing is there which I would like to mention now suppose you are not liking the scale okay and you want to change it so just go here and click on smaller so it will reduce the scale of your design similarly you can also increase the scale of your design by clicking on bigger just make sure that you have a bigger dpi file like 300 or more because if you already have a small dpi file and you want to make it bigger so it is you know eventually going to pixelate and the quality is going to be degraded so make sure that you stick with at least 300 minimum dpi so once you are happy with your scale just lock it and then we have to move ahead for the other uh, details next is marketing and selling so here we have to you know uh, 
feed the data regarding uh, name of the collection, uh, which collection the design falls into, what will be its name, what are the what are the description which needs to be written here, and tags. So just quickly we will go through it and fill in the details. Now let's talk about tags. What tags we can include for this design? Like this is a floral print. It's a minimalistic design, simple design, and the colors which are used are brown, beige, etc. So you can just go ahead and include these tags. You have the options of other things also here. And next is a thumbnail. There are three options: fat, quarter, swatch, and crop. So I go for swatch option because fabric samples come in swatch size that is eight by eight of an inches and quite used to it you can uh, select others also uh, as you wish so select swatch and click on the two check boxes that are displayed here so this is just a disclaimer that you are uh, making your design public and the second option is uh, whether you want to sell it or not so it's currently disabled because uh, for selling on spoon flower we need to prove our design first by proofing the design it means that we have to purchase a sample fabric sample first and check whether the color quality scale and everything else is looking good for the design so once we have proved the design then only we can sell our designs on spoon flower so that is why this uh, little check checkbox is disabled here so this is pretty uh, much we have uh, uploaded our design and we can just post it and it will be displayed in our design gallery to view in the public uh, domain also uh, you can anytime just go back to your design like this and you can you know update your design or edit some little details if you want to uh, update it later like you want to pop in some additional details or change some tags or anything like that you can do it and then again you can post it so this is the process of uploading your design file on spoon flower and making it available for sale